Amsterdam calling. So pick up. Hi, I'm Shoshana from Awesome Amsterdam. And today I'm really excited because I'm a science nerd at heart and we are at the first ever museum dedicated to microscopic organisms. And it's called Micropia. The special thing about Micropia is that we actually have a lot of living microorganisms. We have uh, over 300 different species of microbes here that we cultivate ourselves in our lab. Um, and that you can actually see here under microscopes. You may not know it, but we all have millions of microorganisms living on our bodies, in our houses, and on our food. billion <laughs> wow I'm dirty but sometimes that's a good thing because some of them protect you mm -hmm. that's really cool <laughs> they train your immune system um, they produce very important vitamins and hormones and um, so without all these billions of microbes um, yeah you wouldn't even be able to survive scientists can trace certain microbes back to a specific person just like DNA this exhibit is about microbes you can find in your house, all in everyday objects. Um, for example, in your carpet or um, living off of your skin cells that fall off every day. Um, and uh, you can look and see them uh, microscopically through these, in these little boxes. And it's quite amazing and quite interesting. Some of them are very beautiful. Some of them are scary and creepy, but really cool. So today a new exhibit is opening here at Micropia about nematodes and these worms are using uh, to protect crops from pest insects and the nematodes spit bacteria into the insects which kills them and uh, thus controls uh, the insect populations that damage the crops. The ASF is the largest producer of these nematodes and they're a partner in this exhibit and you can see they sprayed some of their nematodes on these flowers. To see the nematodes you have to look in the microscope. What are the advantages um, for using nematodes over other methods? Well, it's, it's very self-controlling, it's very durable because if there's no more prey or, or whatever they hunt, um, they die on themselves. So um, within hours or days, um, the, the nematode population you inserted in your, in your greenhouse, for instance, will die off. If there's no more insects, no more plague, then there's no more insects. So it's very durable uh, and of course it's much more natural than any chemical that we use normally. The only issue is that um, farmers are quite conservative, of course. Yes. They know that the chemicals work, um, so yeah. it takes quite some time and quite some, some, some arguments to really get them to use something new, yeah, exactly. something they don't know. Exactly. Um, but a lot of farmers have made the transition from chemicals to um, biological control or a combination of both, um, and they're really happy. So. What do they taste like? Good question. I, I don't think they have they have a flavor. It's a really cool museum. I think it's really fascinating and unique and anyone would enjoy it because you're learning about your surroundings and what's even on and inside of your body. It's right next to artists so you can make a day of visiting the zoo also and Micropia. Learn about the small things you can't see and the big animals you can. If you'd like to find out more about Micropia, click the link in the description box below. I hope you like this video. Please give it a like and subscribe for future videos about Amsterdam. I'm Shoshana from Awesome Amsterdam. You can find me at awesomeamsterdam.com or on social media. Thanks for watching. See you next time.